this very late 2012 Mercedes-Benz E350 has done just 15,000 kilometres since new. It's got a three and a half litre petrol engine and it's black in colour with black leather interior. It's a one owner car from new and it's been serviced at Sanderson's in the eastern suburbs. The E350 petrol pretty much came with everything and are very rare. As you can see 15,952 kilometres. It's got reverse camera, navigation and it's an avant-garde. It's got Bluetooth connectivity and memory electric seats. The Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagon is an incredible family car. And even examples from the 70s are still popular today. In, 19, in the 1970s they had what was called the W123 and it was generally a 230 or a 280TE. It was also available in a diesel. And you still get them, see them getting around today and they've become quite popular and actually quite collectible. After the 123 they brought out the 124 in about 1986-87 and they made it all the way up until 1995 when it was replaced by the W210. Then it went to the W211 and then into this series which is called the W212. By the W212, which is this era, they became quite rare. A lot of them are four cylinders and a lot of them are also diesels. So to find a three and a half litre petrol isn't easy. The other thing with regards to buying an E-Class wagon is they are getting difficult to find in light of the fact that you've got about 38 different models. So you'd see it's got an electric boot so there's about 38 different models, so if you're looking at a 350 station wagon like this one, you could buy an ML, a GL, and the list goes on. The same with all the other brands like Audi and BMW. But in my opinion, the E-Class wagon is still one of the best family cars around, and in fact, that's, that's actually what my wife drives. It's a seven-seater. The back seats fold down flat. It's got a cargo net. It's also got a luggage cover here. You can see it here, it actually automatically goes up when you open the boot. So if you've got important items in the back, like a briefcase or something like that, you can't see it. And I'll give you an example. So I'll just close the boot here. See how it's sliding down? That's flat now. Let's just show you again. So you can put things in and out. The seven seats are located here. So you pull that up and you've got your extra two seats. They've also, since the very first series, had self-leveling rear suspension. The reason why they have that is if you've got four or five people in the back, if it was any other station wagon in seven seats like a Volvo or similar, the back of the car would be sitting right down. It would bounce around when you go over speed bumps. The good thing about having a self-leveling suspension is the car's always level and it's always handling properly. So if you're driving to the snow, you've got skis and briefcases, people in the car, it's always safe. But this is a very special car for a number of reasons. One obviously being that, you know, as I said, the three and a half litre petrol is quite rare but the E-Class wagon in general is very rare. It's got rear blinds, rear air conditioning, a sunroof. This car would have cost about $150,000 to $160,000 when it was new, which I think makes it incredible value second hand, especially with just 15,000 kilometres. It's got climate control, cruise control, driving lights, xenon lights.
electric wipers, auto headlights, obviously they've had that for a while. Parking sensors at the front, parking sensors at the back. And it's just simply not a car, which I think will last very long. I'd be surprised if we had this car more than a week. Just being so desirable and, and having such low kilometres. The three and a half litre petrol has just over 200 kilowatts. So not only has got a lot of power, it's also quite economical. And you've got a much more constant power curve in comparison to the turbo diesel. It's got push button start, keyless entry, Harman Kardon sound, two remote keys. And if you look up Mercedes Benz on the internet, have a look what 1970s and 80s and 1990s Mercedes wagons are selling for in a 280 or a 320. I think you'll be quite surprised. You should also have a look at the kilometres. Maybe just for a bit of fun, look up Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagon. Put kilometres high to low. I think you'll be pretty, pretty surprised. I personally have seen them with 560,000 kilometres, 600,000 kilometres plus, because they're very popular with country people as well. They don't want to drive their big diesel Land Cruiser into town. They'd rather take something like this. But it's a very impressive car. It's certainly a car we're very happy to have at the Old Timer Centre. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. My name's Philip, and uh, we are lo located just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thanks so much for watching.